This good boy behind me is Wyrex, named after the man who found him, Bob Wyrick. I like to think of Wyrex as a giant trace fossil. A trace fossil is a fossil that tells a story. So think of fossilized dinosaur footsteps in a dried up riverbed. But quite often, large specimens like this are chock full of trace fossils. So let's go behind this mount here and check it out. So we're here at, let's just call it what it is, Wyrex's rear end. Now Wyrex is popularly known for the trace fossil that is its severed tail. What severed the tail? Likely another T-Rex. Another T-Rex was the only thing strong enough at the time to bite through another T-Rex. But there's another part of Wyrex that also tells a story. Check this out right up here. That isn't a bone chip and it doesn't have any of the evidence of being a puncture wound or an injury like that. Perhaps it started as a puncture, but what we can reasonably hypothesize is that no matter what it was, no matter what caused the initial injury, it got infected. And that infection moved to the bone, and that infection basically eroded out this part of its leg. That's awful. And you can even go a few steps further than that. Infections usually are accompanied by fever. Wyrex was probably miserable for a long time while this infection played out. Wyrex might have lived its entire life miserable. But when you look closer at fossils, when you look closer at big specimens like Wyrex, you can often see a story unfolding. Quite often we come to museums and we just kind of vibe through the paleontology hall. But if you stop for just a few seconds longer and really look closely, you can start to understand these animals just like you understand your pet. Knowing that Wyrex was suffering from an infection in its bone makes it more relatable and it closes that gap of eons. You know, not too long ago, we made a video about the evidence of brain cancer in the brain case of Gorgosaurus over here, just to my left. You'll wanna check out that video as well. But with that, stay safe and stay curious.